dividend investing is the best because even when you're not fully committed and not always paying attention to what's going on in the stock market, you're still compounding your wealth. This month, our portfolio value hit an all-time high. We got some nice dividend payments to talk about. I bought some new stocks and so much more. On this channel, I believe in full transparency and if you appreciate that, unlike some other YouTubers that don't show transparency, it would mean a lot if you could subscribe for more content like this. With all that out of the way, smash the like button, subscribe, join the Discord link in the description, and of course, roll the intro. Hello, I like money. We're going to start off hot here with the topic of the day, which is our portfolio valuation. Currently, yesterday, we surpassed the $18,000 mark, which is an all-time high for my portfolio. We're currently sitting at $18,079.89. Over the last month, we're up about $500, and over the last two months, we're up about $1,000, which is nice to see. I haven't been even really been adding a lot of money to the portfolio, obviously, but lawn mowing season has just started, so expect to see some growth in my portfolio valuation as long as the market goes up a little bit or stays flat. We saw some huge capital gains in my some of my core positions this month more specifically Microsoft has gone up so much this month it's sitting around $300 right now and I'm currently it's currently at about 10% of my portfolio weight at $1,800 which is just awesome to see it's great to get rewarded for buying a really great company when you know it was a little underpriced when I bought it really at around 230 225 it's great to see it now being priced at an appropriate price the same can be said for Starbucks which is currently trading at $120 and is quickly rose and be one of my core positions and if you're a long time viewer on the channel you would know that this is I like to buy during the good times and the bad times so this month we did actually buy some stocks regardless that we were in, we were kind of in a bull run right now our currently annual income is about four four hundred fifty four dollars and twenty three cents that's up roughly seven dollars from four hundred forty seven dollars and fifty eight cents last month so nice to see our estimated yield has stayed roughly the same right now. It's gone down by 2.2%. So we're currently sitting at 2.75% for that. And our estimated monthly income went up by about 55 cents. Overall, I didn't go on a huge buying spree this month. I didn't see a whole lot of great opportunities right now. But now that I have a little bit more income coming in, expect to see the buys that I have every month go up a little bit and me DCAing into some positions that I want to make core of the portfolio eventually. With that said, I think it's an appropriate time to move on for the buys of the month. I'm not going too trigger heavy right now on the buys, obviously. To start the month off, I bought one share of SEHD. I bought this at $73.46. Obviously, this is a position I want to get up to the 10% mark, and we currently have roughly $1,500 worth of SEHD. So anything really below my cost per share, which is about $72 right now, I will be looking to buy. And lastly, for the month already, I bought one share of Realty Income at $60.73. So obviously a little more conservative on the buying this month. I just didn't see a whole lot of great opportunities, and I don't have a whole lot of cash to spend on stocks right now. If you want to see me buy more stocks, help me get monetized by subscribing and sharing the video. Obviously, it's also nice to see even with the lower amount of stocks that I bought this month, I still am growing my portfolio. This month, we also got some nice dividend hikes too. To start off, good old J&J hiked their dividend 5.3%, so that was really nice to see. And then Southern Company hiked their dividend 2.9%, so that's obviously nice to see. Now let's move on to the dividends that I got this April. To start off, I got a whopping $0.35 cents from Nike. Obviously, I'll be going to the Bahamas with that money soon. Then I got $5.31 from Coca-Cola. $4.42 from Vici. It's good to see that my Vici dividends are growing every every quarter that I get from them. I've been trying to add more to that position, and I will this summer for sure. Next, I got my monthly $3.49 from Realty Income. Also nice to see that, that dividend grow every month. And lastly, I actually got a really nice dividend from Altria, $12.01 from them. We like profiting off of people with addictions and high schoolers vaping in the bathroom. And overall, for April, we collected $25.58 for the month. You can see here in my Google Sheets, overall, you know, my portfolio dividend income, it's been kind of flat. It's been inconsistent, which, I mean, it isn't pretty to see, but we are trying to make our portfolio more high quality, and with that can be a loss of dividend yield and dividend income as a result of that. Overall, it will be nice, though, eventually to see all my, my portfolio consolidate and get more high quality as a result of that. But as mentioned right now, I just don't see a lot of great opportunities in this little bull run that we've had. Um, 
And yeah, that's that. Um, I'm going to definitely be increasing the positions that I buy into. The swab transition is happening, which will be nice because I can buy fractional shares finally. And now moving on to the channel update and kind of a personal update for me. Um, recently, I've just been feeling extremely drained, very tired, and I haven't even been really going hard on YouTube at all. Um, I just don't have any energy for it. My home hormones are changing right now because I've been on a ca calorie deficit. It's getting to that time of the school year as well where, you know, you're kind of, a, you're in an uphill battle, very tired when I, every days are getting longer. Um, but I think once summer hits, I'll have the energy to really go hard on YouTube. I'm sorry if you've been expecting more uploads out of me or whatever, but definitely come June, you're going to be seeing an uptick in everything, quality, quantity, everything. We're going hard this summer. It comes to another thing personally, like in my mind, I guess, like it's, it's personally like very demotivating and depressing. Um, I've been kind of waiting for a video to take off and just nothing has, like I haven't gotten a single video over two 2,000 views, and um, it's just very demotivating sometimes, but in the grand scheme of things, I need to be more grateful, um, you know, so overall, things will take care of itself as long as I keep working, thank you for making it to the end, I really do appreciate it if you've stuck around for this segment of the video, um, join the Discord if you haven't mentioned already, and of course, do dividend stocks on drugs, have a good one.